Good morning, everyone. Actually, it's almost noon time, so I've been very busy this morning. Um, it's a beautiful day. I've got uh, two weeks left before I go to work, so I am cramming in um, as much as I can. Uh, I want to share today um, some things I got at... I'm calling it a Goodwill haul, but it's actually a white elephant uh, sale that we have every year in our town, and the benefits go to the hospital. So it's called the Hospital Fair, and it's uh, vintage jewelry, it's um, linens, um, they have a white elephant tent. Uh, books that people donate. It's all um, things that people donate and all the proceeds go to the hospital. So it's funny because when it opens at 9 o'clock in the morning, there's like a waiting line of people to charge in to get the best of everything. Um, I see people walking out with ski boots and skis and all kinds of sports equipment. But the White Elephant area is... Uh, constantly stock throughout the day and one of the things I like to collect is uh, vintage dishes so I I only made it once and I pushed through the crowds and finally got up to the table and I wanted to share some of the things I found there and uh, the prices are are really good so let's start with my first piece um, this is a just a bowl. It's a very shallow bowl. Let me show you. Um, I I'm, I think I'm going to use it in my scrap room for um, to put embellishments in as I'm doing a layout or project life. Um, let's see. It's called the Pontresina. I don't know. It's from England, so I'm sure it's not too fancy. But I just love the design and I like that color blue and it's probably about I don't know six to eight inches in diameter so that's one purchase and I believe I think this was a dollar um, the next thing I got is just this separated dish this is about the same diameter let's see yep same diameter and it's got two small sections and one half section on this side and this I use definitely for embellishments and separating while I'm in my scrap room also and this was 50 cents so I thought that was too good to pass up okay um, I found these sets of plates now I just love this pattern and they were had masking tape um, so they came as a set of three and this was two dollars for these three plates and they're bigger than coffee uh, saucers and they don't have that little um, lip here in the center so it makes a great sandwich plate um, for just a light lunch or a salad plate um, and I know I can't put these in the microwave because of that gold gold edging but look at those flowers uh, so let me turn this one over and these are called Bakerite oven tested 22 karat gold so I can see that the 22 karat gold is kind of wearing off but that's okay with me so there's three of these they make a nice set. And there they are. And those, well, look at that. I must like that size. Those are about six to eight inches in width. And another plate, which is a little bit bigger. This was really pretty. I love these forget-me-nots on there. And this also has a gold edge. This is more of a white background where this is kind of a soft cream color and we've got um, this on the left side here a bigger um, spray of forget-me-nots 
And let me show you the back of that. That is called Royal Imperial, made in England, finest bone china. And look at that little heart or whatever. Maybe that's a, some type of signature or something. So I really like that. And what's funny is I found this on one end of the table. And this, this table uh, was a huge square. And I would say it took up like, oh, I would say it was 30 feet, 30 feet in length. Um, so it took quite a while to push through the crowds and get to see all these dishes. Um, so I was this I purchased at one end of the table, and then when I got to the other end of the table, I spotted this teacup and saucer, and this was two dollars for the set. And I couldn't believe that it matched this plate. They weren't even anywhere close together, like I said. So here's the cup, the teacup. Well, oh, that's different. Majestic choice. Oh. Let's see if they're the same color. Yeah, that's the same pattern, I think. That's just a different insignia on the back. And this definitely, you can tell, is a saucer, so. Yeah. Oh, it has that little... No, that's not a heart. That's a different shape. Maybe it's the artist that... Uh, put the gold around it. Ah, huh, interesting. Maybe I'll have to look into that and find more about vintage china. I, I, I guess there's a lot to know about it, but I just thought that was a really great haul, and I do have, uh, I thought this was pretty good for one visit, so that is my china haul. Oh, after I just recorded about those dishes I got at the white elephant I remembered two pieces that I got at a yard sale um, this spring and I wanted to include those also since it's also china or pottery um, this let me move back a little is a covered like right, whoa nothing like breaking it on camera this is a uh, a deep serving bowl um, it's got, I don't know if it's called purple orchid or blue orchid. Uh, it looks like those little forget-me-nots again. But this is, this is a little bit wider. This is probably 10 inches in diameter. And it has that gold edging again. Let me turn this over. Um, this says, warranted 22 karat gold blue orchid. Um, Royal, I don't, can't see where it's from. I can't read that stamp. But anyway, this serving bowl came, what I, what caught my eye about it was that it came with a lid. And look at the big orchid on the top. And it has a little handle there, as you can see. And also a pretty blue around the edge so it the only thing it doesn't really set down in so it makes me wonder whether this is a serving bowl and this went to a different piece but um, the woman who ran the yard sale said it was very old which you're not really sure if you can believe that but I I don't know it kind of makes me want to study up on old china now this piece caught my eye because it had a pedestal and it's just a shallow um, bowl on top but it was a very interesting shape if you can see um, kind of a uh, square and let me show you a close-up of that crackle pattern and that pattern is kind of built into it so I'm sure it's supposed to whoop, it's supposed to be there but look at those flowers on the side they look like uh, some type of daisy like a fall pattern and what I noticed let me take you to one of the edges there is a gold edge on this also you can see it well it's not really coming in but and this doesn't have any label. 
I can't find any anything. This is the bottom. And there's no markings at all. But so I'm not sure what I'm gonna use this. I've I've had this in my living room on the uh coffee table. But I don't know, that may end up in my scrap room also. So that is the end. I promise that is everything. So um like I said, this makes me want to maybe learn a little bit more about vintage china. Now I just need a whole new addition to the house to store everything. <laughs> so uh, thanks for stopping by, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.